Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting lemons and a glass pitcher. Please let YouTube know you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and then they'll promote them for me. And thank you very much for watching. Today I'm going to paint lemons. I have a glass pitcher, a platter with some lemons partially cut on them. And they're in front of a window and I really like that old um, Art Deco window look. And so that's what I'm trying to do here. And I've made my sketch on tracing paper. I like the way I can keep them and use them again or use parts of them again. Or if I make a mistake, I can, I have my sketch all ready to be transferred. I don't have to worry about it. And I've transferred it onto my 9 by 12 canvas panel. I get them from Michaels. Actually, I might have got this one from Walmart because it hasn't got the artist loft on it. So this is a Walmart one. They're very cheap. And if you want to do just a quick painting for a demonstration, they're perfect for that. So here we go. I've got my usual palette of water mixable oils and I've got titanium white, cad yellow light, raw umber, raw sienna I beg your pardon, raw umber, ultramarine blue, sap green and some alizarin crimson. I might add some other colours to that as we go along but um, for now that's what I'm starting off with and I have a number of flats from a quarter inch to a three quarter inch I think that is and a couple of rounds. I'm mixing a pale yellow with my cad yellow light and um, some titanium white and I'm just going to um, put in the edges of the lemons. At this stage I'm just putting paint on the canvas. I'm not too careful about it. And another thing I wanted to add is that some of these slices are in behind the picture and the glass distorts them. Now I have not put lemons in a glass to see how much they're distorted. I'm just doing this straight out of my own head so it may or may not be correct and if you need it very correct then you need to try it for yourselves. But um, this is how I'm going to um, just put these in very roughly. You can still see the pencil lines underneath. And I'm using my uh, quarter inch flat to do this. Really, it's my favorite brush to paint with. I use it all the time, sometimes when I shouldn't. Just because I never remember to look for something else. At this stage, as I said, I'm just getting paint on the canvas. I'm not too worried about being precise. I'm using water mixable oils which is a um, which is an oil paint which has an, an emulsifier added to it which makes it very easy to use. There's no smell and um, you can clean your brushes with water. You can mix it with water. It's really my favorite painting medium. Okay, so that's started my lemons. I'll strengthen those as I go on. I'm adding a little amount of um, sap green and maybe a touch of raw umber to bring the green down and I'm going to paint my leaves and
just getting paint on the canvas. Get a little change. As I go in and I'll put my lights and darks in and you'll see it build as we go along. I'm going to do a little to the windows. Um, I like these old Art Deco windows that had the colored lights in them and um, I think they're very charming myself and I think it will make a nice background. I think I'm going to make this one right behind a pink one because that will make the glass. I've got hair on my painting there. I have a dog and hair is an integral part of my paintings. Don't forget when you're painting glass, you see the background through it. That's what makes it look glassy. It helps with that transparent look. I have my door standing open today. It's a lovely day here in Florida. And um, you can hear an aircraft. I'm right on a flight path. Don't mind, it's a little green in that one. I'm going to make this one more pure blue. I usually cut quite a bit of my videos to get it into a reasonable time. But today I think I won't cut it, I will just let you follow along as you will. I know most people skip through them, that's okay too. It gives me minutes and the algorithm picks up watch time. It also picks up likes, so thumbs up if you can, because that gets my um, YouTube's picked up and shown by uh, my channel picked up and shown by YouTube and um, gives me much more exposure if you give me a thumbs up and as many watch minutes as you can. I think I'll put a little pink one here too because I think it'll look nice, maybe a little darker. put a plain white one in here. I know it's white on a white canvas but I'm using <laughs> the paint putting it on fairly thickly so that you get the texture at least. I actually love to um, do impastos. I don't do very many of those. Um, but I might do one next time I paint tomorrow or the next day and do it in acrylics and show you how I do those. I don't think of these uh, videos as a tutorial. I like to think of them as sharing what I paint because there are so many different ways of painting anything you want to paint and 
I don't like to think of myself as teaching what I'm doing. I prefer to think of it as sharing what I'm doing. I think I'm going to put that one here. Might put a bit of white in with that, it's a little too dark. Now, these panes uh, were all joined by lead usually, so that's black, and I do not do black. But I will mix ultramarine with some raw umber and get a very dark sort of gray and I'll use that Now it's very rough at the moment, but that's all right because I'll clean it up as I go along. Okay, so that's got it in roughly. And I'm going to use some raw umber to start the tabletop. I'm actually using raw sienna. I keep muddling those two up today. My dog's snoring again. He's a video hazard, nothing I can do about it. Someone's doing some yard work out there, I think, too. Till recently, I've had a lot of ducks on the pond, but I think they've gone further south now. So I'm not hearing so many lately. Now we'll put some in the bottom of the glass because you'd see the table through the bottom of the glass picture. Whatever's in the background or on the base, you're going to see through the, the glass. So that's what makes the glass look glassy. a little bit in there too. And using a little raw umber across this mixed with some raw sienna. And I mix some mixing ultramarine blue with some um, alizarin crimson and I'm going to make the platter a purple color I actually think it's a bit dark so I'm going to make some white in with that
I don't worry about putting in my lights and darks. I'm just getting paint on the canvas and I'll refine it as I go along. And you know, I think I'm going to put some of that purple down here. I think a little alizarin on top of that might be warmer. I like that better. Okay. I'm going to use a round, a small round and some white and I'm just going to um, follow the edge of my vase it's going to outline it now this slice is inside the vase and this one is behind the vase and this one is inside the vase this one is behind the vase so there is some distortion there which I've lost but hope to find. I also think I've lost the shape of this vase a little bit. It's not a vase, is it? It's a picture, that's what I'm trying to say. And the man managed to lose that shape. I'm going to put a line across here and we'll say this is where the lemon comes up to. All right. Now I have paint on the canvas and from here on out we're adding more paint, we're adding lights, darks, shadows and um, re generally refining it and I work all over the painting I don't develop one area over another so I'm going to get started with that using straight cat yellow.
I'm using some ultramarine with sap green to put in some shadow on my leaves. straighten up this a little bit. put a little white in here to indicate some sort of reflection in the glass. going to put um, just a little reflection in the tabletop. And also a reflection on the table itself. This is the shadow side of the table, so I think it will be darker. The light is coming in this direction, as it always is in my paintings. I don't know why. I have to change it up sometime. I'm not happy with the shape of that picture. I think it should come down more like this. I think there needs to be some yellow in there. mixing some cad yellow in with my green to give me a brighter green. For the leaves, I might put a leaf across here too. That's a little more leaf-like, I think.
and I think it could be darker under here. I don't want anything that catches the eye too much under there because this the business is all on top. I'm going to use um, titanium white and ked yellow light and I'm going to paint the um, I don't know what you call them the peel the I don't know what you call that
it's coming along. Okay, let's get some more shape into this. I don't want to get too definite. I just want to suggest the um, section lines. I don't. I don't want to um, make the eye concentrate on this because it's not the point of the painting. It needs to be there to tell you that you're looking at lemon slices, but we don't want you studying it too hard and figuring out that, hey, I don't have enough sections in there. Technical stuff that I don't bother with. I don't have any lemons in the house. I have not um, figured this out carefully. I'm just painting it off the top of my head for fun. Once you realize you're not Vincent van Gogh, you can have much more fun. I think if my paintings um, don't ever sell that's okay because I'm just having fun I like to get whatever color is in a vase or a picture lemons in this case uh, in flowers in vases I like to get that color in the glass I thought I had this shape worked out, but it's got away from me slightly.
got too much water in this and um, losing the um, titanium white. I might leave it for a few minutes. to do the edges. Taking a dry brush, I'm just going to brush those across. It's old glass, has imperfections, colour differences. Not perfect. We don't want perfect. No fun, perfect. We've got some blue on there. It's coming along. We're going to put an even darker line along um, under here. Put a light line across the back here.
I'm going to put a very dark shadow line underneath the bottle. And inside, I'll try adding more light. Goes my doggy. totally happy with that. I got a new tube of white and it doesn't seem to be acting quite the same but maybe it's just because it's a warmer day today. I'm going to leave that and come back to it in a little while and see what I think of it because I have a tendency to overwork something and then regret it. If you see what I mean. So I'm going to leave it for now and I'll be back. I've added Taylo Green, Taylo Blue and Cobalt Blue to my palette. I'm hoping to liven things up a little bit because it's looking a bit boring.
feel that the coloured panes in the background window are too dominant for the picture and so I'm using titanium white and I'm going to paint them out and leave just a hint of colour um, and I think it will look better that way. I think that looks much better. I'm happy with that. I, that's it really for the painting. I'm just messing around at this stage, which I always do. I hope you enjoyed the video and please give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm find me. And um, I have lots of videos over, I think this is about the 70th video I've made, so go and check out the others. And um, uh, I appreciate any watch time and every thumb up that you give me. Um, like I say, it helps YouTube understand that you like my videos and it helps the algorithm find me. So I very much appreciate that. Next time, I think I'm going to paint um, sunflowers using an impasto method. I love to paint sunflowers. They're such a fun flower. Um, they just look so great when you've finished. And um, so I'll see you next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching.